All right, out here doing some testing after I got the alignment and the wheels balanced. I'm um, still haven't found a really good road. I'm on a test road that I know I can get to at least 100. Because I think I did 112. I got a guy over here blasting music. So trying to load a motorcycle. But I'm going to get the car set up. I'm going to try a couple of different GPSs today. Um, I'm going to try it on a 6S and some small 8S packs. Um, and I'm curious to see how these wheels, the infraction wheels, are going to affect uh, the handling at speed. Because I've always run the solid dish wheels on it or the GRPs or even the foams, the BSR foams. So I'm going to get the GoPro set up on my head and then I'm going to pass this one off to my daughter so she's going to film uh, when I make the pass. All right, be right back. Having a wheel come off in the middle of a run. Hopefully the GoPro on my head is catching something. Not really concerned with the time right now. Got a recording. <laughs>
Petra. You could go! Just get to about half throttle. I'm gonna check the time and check the temps since I've already made three passes. So felt like 90 maybe. Oh, I gotta peel the tape. Forgot about that. Probably shouldn't have even taped it for those runs. Look at all these cars coming down there. I'm assuming that's somewhere around 90 because I never got into the throttle. Let's see. Let's see what this one says. Let's stop. End ride. Yes. So 108 on those on that run. So let's see what the other GPS says. I'm surprised it even got up to 100. It didn't seem that fast. Let's see. Mode. Well, yeah. See, 173 kilometers, but I don't know what kilometers is I'm gonna have to switch this over to mile per hour this is a new GPS for me sorry guys I don't know I don't know what all this stuff is there's mile per hours But it doesn't, it doesn't tell me what the run was. So I don't know, 100, I think this thing said 108 kilometers under record. So, but my faithful GPS shows, uh, 103. no, 108. Can you see it on the screen? Is that sideways? Yeah. Here, I don't even think that's showing. I can't see anything in this thing. Let's see. 108 on that run. So, here, hold the camera. So, I don't know where the GoPro is, but hopefully it's seeing it. 108. I'm going to go ahead and uh, reset this and try to make another one. Yeah, let's do start. This one says start it. Let's see if I can get this thing. I don't even know how to operate this one. This was one of those cheap eBay ones. Sky RC. I don't want time. I want mile per hour. Enter. Now it says record. Stick this one, which has already started. Yeah. You have 
the other one in the car. Yeah, hopefully these batteries got some more life left in them. The temperature's not even warm yet. But I don't really care if uh, if I don't have all the power in it right now. I just don't want low voltage cut. Normally I can only make about one or two runs and I've already done three passes on uh, this battery. But I'm just testing. This is, you know, a steady 100 mile an hour car. So let me get this tape up. Tape this side. It's definitely dead straight, which I'm very happy about after that last crash and the tumble. I was worried about, uh, about my alignment. So I redid all the shocks. Redid, uh, Get Mom, go over there. Go ahead and cut that one. Okay, hopefully the GoPro is recording. This is going to be run number four, I believe. Yeah, four. On the same path of battery. which I'm really, really, really happy about. That's what I was looking for. So once I find a good road, I should be able to open it up now, but this car is really stable. The alignment, the balancing of the tires, everything's working. So now I should be able to uh, to put a fresh pack set of packs in it. Oh, got that tape. Get a fresh set of packs in it and uh, definitely uh, open her up and see what she'll really do. But I, I just gotta find a longer road. I rode out in Palmdale. It's got some pretty big bumps and it's making this car get airborne. Last time I tested here, it, uh, it worked out really well. Then I went to the long road, which I thought was good, and it wasn't. It got airborne and backflip. So, let's go to my old trusty broken GPS that's been with me forever. Stop. I don't know why it says stop now. Delete. End ride. Yes. So that was 105. So 
So as you see, 105. And these are these are just test hits. I haven't been able to open it up yet, but the car is steady. Let's see if this thing says C mode. One of this one's showing one of Two. 102. So that's it for today, guys. These packs are done. As you see, they're really, really tiny packs. They're the Electron 5000s. So they're small test packs that I use just to see if the car will do some hits. And I've actually done four back-to-back 100-mile-an-hour -back runs with this one battery, with, with this one set of charge, and on this setup. Motor's a little warm now. Fan's like barely spinning. This thing's pushing my antenna over. But it's gonna have to cool off now. And uh, it's gonna have to cool down. And uh, I'll get some fresh packs in it and hopefully find a better road today so that we can, uh, we can hit it tomorrow and make a full run because making a full run is what I've been trying to do. But since uh, the car crashed, I haven't had time to dial it back in. So I'm gonna get this body put back on. Where are my clips? Here they are. There. But we got, how many runs did we do? Four? Four. Four passes on one set of batteries, 100 mile an hour each run. Car never got loose, never got squirrely, um, never got airborne. Went perfectly straight. So I'm very happy with the alignment. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, continue to look for a better road. And then uh, we'll get out there and uh, get our speed run. Get this thing opened up like it should be. Just wanted to show you uh, what it takes, you know, to do these speed runs. It's not just grab your car and, uh, and go out there and hit the road. It's dial it in, get it balanced, come out here, do some testing, make sure it's good. So like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.